What's good everyone? Chris here. Chris goes outdoors. We're heading up today to Mount Whiteface and Mount Passaconaway. So we're here at the Ferncroft parking area. Ferncroft Road parking area. We're gonna head on up. Uh, it was a pretty chilly night, but has warmed up substantially this morning. Still a uh, frost on the ground, um, but it's 9 a.m. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're rolling. We can roll. It's telling me to go this way for the Blueberry Ledge Trail, Dicey Mill Trail. So we're going up Blueberry Ledge. That's the plan. And then we're gonna hit Whiteface first, go around, and then hit Passa Conway after. So. Up and up we go. Let's do this thing. From that parking lot, you cross through uh, a little private area, private roads and stuff. There's uh, houses back here, dirt roads, private property. So just as essentially don't be a dick. But yeah, we made it to the uh, the trail. It's right here, you see it splits the pasture path. Blueberry Ledge is what we're gonna take. So upward we go. Looks like we got 3.4 miles to Whiteface. And then we will be heading, I think it's slightly over 2.3, uh, maybe closer to three miles to Passa Conway. Passa Conway. So up we go. So just after you join the a Blueberry Ledge Trail, you get the option to take the Blueberry Ridge Cutoff. Judging by the map, I don't see much of a difference mileage-wise. It looks to be the exact same, actually. So I'm assuming uh, Blueberry Ledge has open ledges, and they give you the option for the cutoff if there's bad weather. It's my assumption, anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna go straight Blueberry Ledge the whole way up. Well, we reached the intersection of the Blueberry Cutoff and the Blueberry Ledge Trail. And unfortunately, there's a couple small lookouts, kind of like you can probably see behind me, um, but they're very obstructed view. Uh, the best lookout so far is actually right here at the intersection. As you can see over there, the mountains. So yeah, best uh, lookout so far. We're gonna uh, continue on, just uh, head up to Mount Whiteface. Proceeding up the Blueberry Ledge Trail still, making some good time. First little uh, decent outlook right here. Pretty nice view. I assume and hope that it will get better as we go up. Supposedly the outlook here up on Whiteface uh, is very nice. So far the trail, once you get past that cutoff, starts to go much more upright elevation wise. Ooh, this section right here in particular has a bunch of stairs. So, we're heading up. Definitely chilly up here. Keep moving though. So, I haven't froze to death yet. I have all my warm clothes in my bag, but can see a lot of snow and stuff on the ground, but walking in a little winter wonderland right now. A little bit of snow came through here Whoop. last night and uh, made everything pretty. So I'm just hoping it doesn't make it dangerous. There were a couple spots of ice on the way up here. A couple uh, spots of black ice too, which uh, is never a good time. And I've had my own terrible experiences with that up here, but I got my micro spikes, so keep on rolling. Got probably another mile or so to Whiteface, so we should be popping out at the intersection of one of the other something Wiggins Trail. So check back then. And just after I mentioned it, we're at the intersection, of Blueberry Ledge, right behind me and up top, and the. Tom Wiggins Trail right over there. So we got 0.7 miles to the top of Mount Whiteface. Gonna keep pushing on because if I stop, I may freeze to death. 
All right, so we made it to the first outlook on Mount Whiteface. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Give you a little loop. Holding on for dear life. Unbelievable view. You can see there is snow over on the, uh, the trail there, so it's kind of gnarly. But a very straight drop down. Good lord. Man, it's nice up here though. Even temperature wise, it's not too cold, especially in the sun. We're gonna carry on. Made it up to a slightly higher lookout here. Beautiful view. Again, you can see back in that area what we were looking at before. Spin you around. Washington, all snowed in already. Past the Conway, the other one I'm hoping to hit is right over there. So we gotta keep moving, running uh, over on the low on daylight if we don't. So gonna keep pushing. Kind of looking into the sun right now, still on the Rollins Trail. You can see behind me, my white face. That's how far we've come. We're pushing, pushing hard. Uh, we should be right at the intersection for the trail up to Pass Conway. Uh, hopefully, very, very soon. Beautiful. We've now made it to the intersection of the Rollins Trail and Dicey Mill Trail. This way, it's a mile up to Mount Pass Conway. That way, it's about 3.5 miles down to the car. So it's one o'clock, sunset's about five here. So it's gonna be a tight one, but I'm going for it. Uh, I got my headlamp, I have my tent, I have tons of clothing, my sleeping bag. So uh, if worse comes to worse, I'll end up just crashing on the, uh, the trail somewhere. So let's uh, try to make some good time. Hopefully we'll get back for each day. Nice little outlook on the trail up to Mount Pasagonaway. Beautiful. Unbelievable view right now. Wow, nice. So, kind of press on. Hopefully, it should just be right up around here, the actual summit. So, keep going. It's a tough little trail, especially with uh, six ish plus miles already under your belt in the day. So, Hop up, keep going. I made it to the top of Mount Pasaconaway. Look how eventful this place is. <laughs> That's a marker, a couple rocks. That's all I got. Apparently there is another viewpoint, but it is an additional 0.3 miles there, 0.3 miles back. So I'm thinking I'll hit it though. We'll see. So we're past the boring summit of Mount Pasaconaway. Two gentlemen insisted that I do not skip the viewpoint, which is 0.3 miles to it, 0.3 miles back. Man, right now I'm glad I did not. Just take a look. You can see Franconia, Washington, the whole presidential range from here. This is, this is an impressive little viewpoint, I gotta, gotta admit, so. I'll probably regret it a little bit physically at the end of the day, but man, am I glad I came all the way to this viewpoint. If you're at Passaconaway and you see that point three miles on your map to a viewpoint, take it. It's awesome. All right, we made it back down. We're at the uh, beginning of the East Loop. This is right before the uh, mile point that goes up to um, Mount Passaconaway. So 
I got, uh, it looks like 3.5 to 3.8 ish, is somewhere around there. Miles left to go. Um, sun's going down still, maybe two hours of sunlight if I'm lucky. So, gonna keep rolling. It's definitely warmer down here, so it's nice, but I'm the only weirdo that I've seen that's been wearing a short sleeve shirt all day. So, when I hike, I'm like a radiator, I just stay warm. But uh, if you go up here, not too far, uh, there's a little creek area just up there on the left, and there's an old off trail. You can see it pretty clearly, and I believe that is the remnants of what was a shelter up here. Um, it's an empty space, but there's some logs set up, you know, like uh, seats, and there's a firing in the middle. So I'm assuming that they are cool with people camping there. Um, so it's an option if you're uh, coming up the area, you know, there is a spot up there for you. So, all right, we're gonna keep going. Finally got to the last section, Dicey's Mill Trail. It's 1.6 miles down this way. Uh, sun is almost completely down. Uh, you can see up there, there's a little bit left on the mountain up there, but not much. Gonna keep going, 1.6 miles. So hopefully we make it time. Hopefully uh, half an hour, 35 minutes. That's what I'll push for, so off we go. Don't know if that's coming through, but full moon came out hiking under the full moon. It's kind of cool. The sky's a nice shade of blue with uh, purple clouds. Just looks really cool from uh, my uh, my current position. So gonna keep going. Uh, about 0.6 miles left. Not exactly sure if I'm on the trail anymore. I did just pass a sign that said trail back near that barn behind me. But it looked like it was kind of pointing that way. And I can't really tell. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm on it, maybe I'm not. It's definitely a little confusing. Keep you up. So it was indeed the trail. It's actually a trail sign right up here. Um, it is private property, so you can see private property hikers welcome. Look at that view! What a cool place to live. Man, nice of them too to, uh, to let people pass through, you know. They could literally just be like, no, get out of here. There goes that trail. Be a hell of a loop if they didn't, so. Um, probably get half a mile-ish. Back down to the road. Technically I'm on the road, but back down to where I'm parked on the road. So I believe I'm on Ferncroft Road. And uh, yeah, keep rolling. Find my way out of this, this maze down here. Don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> it's gotten pretty dark, but we made it back with uh, just a nick of uh, daylight left. So you can see back there, the moon is up in the clouds. We're back here at the trailhead. So a bunch of people here look like they just wrapped up too. So. Just gonna uh, pack up, get out of here. It's been a uh, been an awesome day. It was actually a really enjoyable hike. Um, I haven't been up here in like a month, so it was nice to get back up here. Unseasonably warm weather. Probably hit like 50 down here today. And uh, yeah, great time. I hiked in uh, pants and a short sleeve shirt all day. So no complaints for uh, the middle to end of November. And uh, yeah, so anyways, this is Chris. Chris goes outdoors. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy. Uh, you can stalk me on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram as well at uh, Chris Goes Outdoors. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll catch y'all later. Stay sexy.